Last September here in uh, Meridian, they had a, it was the first ever for the MS Fitness Challenge. Uh, the guy who started out was David Lyons. He's a very good friend and somewhat of a hero of mine. Um, but he, he was a bodybuilder and he got MS and he couldn't do anything. And he decided after trying all the drugs and not tolerating him or anything, he says, you know what? I'm just going to, uh, I just got to get back to the gym. So he had this goal to get back to the gym. And once he got back to the gym, he's like, you know what? I'm doing a lot better just from working out. So I want to enter a bodybuilding competition. He entered this bodybuilding competition. Of course, he didn't win, but he um, he actually won the most inspiring For participant. Sure. And he had the, the award he got was actually a lot bigger than the winner's trophy. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, he came back and he says, you know, and, and his wife is all, hey, you know, yeah, this is nice that you're doing it for yourself, but how about helping other people? So he started this charity, the MS Fitness Challenge, and he's going around helping people with uh, MS to be able to do more stuff. Right. So it may not fix the numbness, but if they can actually get out of their chair and walk or not have to use a cane or a walker or not be a slug all day every day, this is what he does. He does it through exercise. This is phenomenal. So with David, um, and I can tell you this story. He, he did a video testimonial for me. He's happy to tell him. But um, we did some of the perineal injection technique on his arm. And right after the technique, he's like, wow, it feels great. And he picked up his cell phone with his left hand and walked out the room. And afterwards, he's like, wait a second. I never pick up my cell phone with the left hand because I don't ha I'm always numb there. And I, and I think I'm going to always drop it. But it just felt totally wrong. Oh, it was pretty stunning.